guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i wanted to share my ipsy with you guys i have two packages here from ipsy i did kind of open the first one here but i don't know what's inside of it because i didn't take the package out i realized i thought it was like the ipsy offer order that i had placed but i don't think that it is now i'm realizing it was one of my bags and then i also have a box now this might be my ipsy offer i have no idea i didn't open it i was like you know what let's just open them on camera see what's in here i have no idea we're gonna do it together so first of all let's pour ourselves a little drink this is ipsy and drinkity drinks i have with my with me some castilli castillo de poggio moscato basically this is the moscato if you like moscato this is the one that they sell at um i was gonna say applebee's but that's not right it's the one that they sell at oh my gosh i think i've had too much already um <laughs> the one that they sell at Olive Garden. I couldn't think. Oh my gosh, I had a terrible brain fart. So anyway, let's pour ourselves a glass of this because we're going to need it to get through some of these boxes because some of these boxes have not been so great so far, I'm going to be honest. So cheers. All right. So let's go ahead and open the one that I already started opening up because I mean, why not? So the first thing I pull in, pull in, pull out here is the bag. I think that's it. Yeah, there's no card or anything in here. So I think this is the October bag. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm still trying to get all of my information moved. I haven't done it. I've been kind of really slow about getting some things done. So these were delivered to our old address. So that's why they're late still. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the Arcelli. This is the Ojos Perfectos Gel Pencil Eyeliner Duo with Sharpener. Arcelli. Is it Arcelli or Arcelli? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Well, let's see what this looks like. Oh, I see the sharpener. Okay, so we have two pencils here. One looks kind of like metallic. The other one looks like matte. Uh, the one that is matte is the shade Chocolate. The one that's metallic is Cinnamon. All right, so let's swatch them. So here is the metallic -y looking one, which is cinnamon. That's really pretty actually. And then we have chocolate. I wonder if it smells like chocolate. <laughs> it doesn't. So there's chocolate and cinnamon. There's not a huge difference, but there definitely is a little bit of a difference. So I'm excited to try those out to see if they're any good. They seem really smooth. They don't seem like they're tugging or pulling or anything like that. So there's not much effort into putting to like smoothing them onto my hand. And it's cool that it comes with a little sharpener. That makes it really nice because I've lost so many beauty tools. It's ridiculous. This does not have pricing. So I will not be able to tell you guys the price of any of these things. I do apologize, but that's okay. We're going to at least swatch everything and try it out that way. The next thing is from Skin and Lab. This is the B plus calming dedicated to your smoother and healthier skin by carefully selected vitamins so it's a vitamin b um, applied to the entire face after cleansing with special care paid to the problematic areas it says vitamins are proven to scientifically prevent damage from skin aggressors to address various skin concerns persistent application of b plus calming with pro vitamin b5 will help calm and regulate excess sebum so i don't have excess sebum so I'm going to actually put this to the side because I don't need that. I don't have oily skin. My skin is very dry. And actually now that we're getting into the colder months, it's just going to get worse. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm not even going to open it or try it. The next thing in here is from, oh, that is so cute. Look at this packaging. It is super duper cute. Uh, this is, who is the brand? Half baked, half caked, half caked, not baked. Uh, this is the double feature lip fondant and gloss let's see oh my gosh what an adorable package okay it's not gonna get, get out of the box okay so here is the instant crush gloss and then here is i'm assuming the fondant i guess i don't know so here's the shade and here's the shade i wonder if it has shade names on here on the box um it says instant crush is in rich rich so this is rich rich the lip fondant is asap so let's swatch them so this is rich rich let's smell them as well Ooh, it smells very sweet almost candy like 
Oh, that's a really pretty lip color. I like that it looks super glossy, even though it feels a little bit sticky. And then we have ASAP. I like the doe foot applicator on this. Kind of reminds me of the Smashbox ones that they have. Ooh, that's a really pretty color. Okay, that would look really pretty paired on top of each other as well. Depending upon, I don't know how long wearing this lip fondant is. I don't have any idea, so I'll have to try this out. Um, it doesn't say anything. Half Caked, I've never heard of this brand before, but that's super cute. So way to go on packaging. The packaging is super, super adorable. Let me wipe this off before I end up getting it all over myself. Oh my gosh, those eye pencils are not coming off. So they're gonna be really good. The next thing in here is from Tarte. Okay, so this is, oh, ew. <laughs> this is the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. So, and translucent. And I'm pretty sure this is kind of drying. It says absorbs oil and mattifies, mattifies, blurs, bakes, and sets, mess-free sifter, formulated with vitamin C for brightening. I don't know that I'm going to be able to use this because my skin is very dry and I think the setting powder is going to make my skin look worse. I'm going to end up looking like Tales from the Crypt and that's not a look I'm going for. So I'm probably going to pass this along as well, unfortunately. The next thing is, or next and last thing, is from Filgoria. Filgoria is a brand I have actually tried before. I tried, I don't know what it was, but I tried this product that they had that came in like a jar and I took it with me on vacation. So I was gone for like two weeks and that two week time frame, I used up the jar. It was a small like deluxe sample size. I used up the entire jar and my skin never felt better. I was like, oh my gosh, my skin felt not irritated. It felt very smooth and clean and just hydrated. It just felt really good. So I'm excited about this. This is the Oxygen Glow. This is for your eyes. Uh, this says it revives, moisturizes, moisturizes, and illuminates. So let's see what this looks like. Get it out of the packaging here. So Gloria, check the Ipsy Deals because sometimes Ipsy, Ipsy Deals have like this brand on there, so Gloria. And that's how I was able to try. It wasn't a deluxe sample size. I think it might have been a full size. And I had been using it at home a little bit before then, obviously. So let's see. Okay, this is the Oxygen Glow Eyes, and it's a small container, but it's for your under eyes, and you don't need a lot for your under eyes, so I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be plenty for a very good amount of time. It says something in a different language I cannot read. Um, I'm trying to find English here. Use. Apply morning and evening and light tapping movements around the eye contour. Smooth over the to the tops of the cheekbones for a subtle illuminating effect. So only put it on your under eyes and like go outwards with your ring finger is how I would recommend because your ring finger has the less amount of pressure. So you're not going to do as much damage to your under eyes, but definitely put it up to your cheekbones it's saying because it's going to give yourself an illumination as well. But don't carry it over top of your eyelids because it's not saying that you should. Not all eye creams are made for your entire orbital area. So this one's made just for the contour of your eye. So make sure you do that. All right, now we're moving on to the next box. And that was the regular Ipsy. So I think that one is, what, $25? Pretty sure. Which would have, it would have been really good, except for the fact that I can't use two products out of there. So two out of the five I couldn't use. So now let's open this. I think this might be my Ipsy offer. I'm not sure. We're going to find out. Yes, this is my Ipsy offer. So Ipsy offers or Ipsy deals are things that if you go into their site they have products that you can purchase for like half or even less than half off so you can find some fantastic things i'm always on the hunt to see what kind of products they have right now or not right now but when i purchased i was able to get the gerard cosmetics slay all day setting spray um are they both the same no one is in mint chocolate chip the other one is in dreamsicle so let's smell these i cannot wait to smell the chocolate chip Dreamsicle sounds pretty amazing too because that reminds me of the Flintstone push-ups. Oh my gosh, it is orange. Just like the orange push-ups like the Flintstones. Let's see. I don't think it smells like exactly like a Dreamsicle. But you could definitely smell an orange creaminess to it. So it's not that they're misrepresenting what they're saying. It's just it's not exact. But you can definitely smell the orange creamy. Now, this one is the mint chocolate chip. <laughs> I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. What's your favorite ice cream? I'd love to know. 
let's see, let's smell this one. Oh my gosh. It smells really good. It smells like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to be careful with this one because I'm going to try to drink it and then that would be terrible. <laughs> oh my. This is made by Rich, or not made by, I think it was in collaboration with Rich Luck. So these are two of the ones that he collaborated with them on. So we have mint chocolate chip and orange creamsicle and they're both really good, but I would highly recommend if you like mint chocolate chip ice cream, definitely try this one out. I was kind of hoping it wasn't going to be like minty, like, I don't know, like if you ever had like mint bubble gum or like the mint, like, um, essential oils, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like that. It definitely is not. It's more of like the mint, you can smell, it's like the mint chocolate chip ice cream or like a mint cookie, I would say. So it smells really good. So these are really cool. I'm very excited about those. Anyway, that is everything I have from Ipsy. I would love to know if you get Ipsy. Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Are you hoping that you can uh, upgrade? Because I know a lot of people have upgraded to the bigger boxes. I've done it. And honestly, I did. I wasn't very impressed. I think I switched back down to this one because I was not very impressed with the bigger box because the one that was like, I think it's $50. It's a bunch of like small deluxe samples in it. I'm like, what's the point? I can get all these for with like orders from Ulta because Ulta is phenomenal for giving you like product small sample sizes with your order. So I just wasn't interested in that one. Let me know which one do you think is better, the regular Ipsy or wait, there's three levels, right? So I have the regular Ipsy is what twelve dollars a bag. Then this one's twenty five, and then the other one's fifty. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I don't know to be honest. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on Ipsy. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.